Good morning and welcome to another beautiful morning out here in the Masai Mara. Starting off with a herd of, mm, how many would you say Dave? 200? 200 or so buffalo. My name is Jamie. This morning Dave is on camera with me and Brent is sleeping in and we get to go on our first solo drive around the Mara. I'm so excited. Don't forget to send through your questions on hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. It's an amazing thing that we can jump all the way from South Africa here to Kenya and experience all different aspects of African wildlife. I just saw something happen behind that termite mound that I'm a little bit confused by. You'll see there's a lot of young calves with this particular herd. And I just saw, out of the corner of my eye, it was so quick and so fleeting, I just saw a buffalo throw a calf right up into the air and over her back. And that, hop, that happens quite a lot with buffalo. Ooh, a little bit of upsetness. Just there on the left, they've stopped now. Upsetness is not a word, but we'll go with it. It happens quite regularly with young calves. They get confused and they go to the wrong mum or attempt to suckle from a buffalo bull, which is never, never positively received. And they often get thrown up into the air, legs waving. But that's the first time I've ever seen a baby somersault over a buffalo's back. And I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I hope the little one's okay. I can't see it, though. So we'll just sit here for now and wait and see whether or not it pops out. And then the plan from there is to go and search for our baby elephant from yesterday. It was such an amazing experience seeing that little elephant taking its very first steps. Brent was busy chatting away just so that we could actually show it all to you at a later stage. But I was sitting glued to my binoculars. And then who knows what other things we might find. The buffalo here are so much bigger than they are in South Africa. The buffalo bulls in particular, although the cows are too, they're probably, I would say, about 200 kilograms heavier on average, which is over 200 pounds. These things are enormous. And then Dave, actually, if we look, I was going to say, let's have a look and see, but it's flown away. Bird's flown away, and we are going to move on. So while we do, let's see whether or not Taylor, back in Juma, has had any luck with the wild dogs. <laughs> 